What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Tesla video. In all the videos and series I do on this channel, this is by far my favorite, everything that is new. In 2019, 12.11, it was actually just a few days ago on Twitter, I tweeted out saying that the version, uh, the build that I was on before the version I was on prior, uh, had a lot of errors and bugs, and hopefully it's all fixed in this version. Uh, let's go to release notes here, and let's talk about everything that is new in this update. So, navigation on autopilot is not new, and there's nothing new in this block of text. Uh, supercharger improvements, so basically you can go up to 150 kilowatt peak uh, charge rates now. Uh, high speed performance, your car now is able to maintain torque and power for longer periods of time. Uh, software updates, this is actually really cool. So now you can actually see details about software updates by tapping control software. Uh, you can see it downloading when new software updates are coming and all that sort of stuff. So if we go here to settings, uh, down here, you can see software when you click it. Uh, it's actually kind of cool. So to give you your Model 3, uh, long range, your kilometers and all that, uh, the kilometers looks a little bit squished in. I don't know why they did that. They actually had quite a bit of room. But uh, what's really cool, though, is they have navigation data. So you can see I'm on North America, NA, 2019-0.6-10236. So my navigation data has its own version, and then there's the software version that I'm running, which is 2019.12.1.1. So pretty cool that the software update page here is on the settings now. I like that. So let's go back here to release notes. So that's software updates. Tesla Atari. So there's more games. So there's all new games. Uh, this is the new screen. So you have your games here on the left, and if you click any of them, it actually tells you how to play on the right, and then you can hit start. Uh, this is actually one of the games I was looking forward to, which was 2048. Uh, just like a really good game for a touchscreen, right? So pretty cool that they included this. On the top here, you can click this little button here, and you can go back, and you can see all the games. Uh, they added quite a few new ones, uh, 2048, and then the last couple down here are all new as well. So anyway, we're going to exit. We're going to go back to software. Uh, release notes. All right, so that was Tesla Atari, just some new games. Uh, en route battery warm up. So they're saying that you can save up to 25% charge time because your battery will warm up accordingly. Uh, if it's en route to a supercharger, it'll warm up smart and it'll just save you time when it gets there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, additional language support. So your touchscreen now has more uh, language options. Uh, the web browser, which I'm going to show last, and then the pressure monitoring system, which is good if you have aftermarket uh, aftermarket wheels or tires. So uh, the web browser is the last thing I want to show. Uh, if we go here, it is actually on Chromium now, and it is really quick. You can see this. Check this out. That is Reddit, and it loads like super, super fast. It renders everything. It's way better than before. So overall, a really good update. My favorite type of video, hopefully this fixes all the random uh, screen crashing and bugs and stuff like that what, that was present in the last uh, version that was out. So leave a comment down below, did you guys get this version? Uh, if you have, have you noticed an improvement on bug fixes? Or do you still get like screen crashes and things like that? Leave a comment down below, let me know. Thumbs up the video, make sure you do subscribe for more Tesla content. I got more good Tesla videos coming out on a week-to-week -week basis. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.